Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Akili and welcome to my very first Elemental Behind the Scenes. So this series is probably just going to be really casual and relaxed. I'm going to focus on showing you guys sketches and my process and also materials that I use. Since the Elementals are such a big series and it takes a lot of time for me to plan and it took a couple days just to film this one, I just wanted to show you guys what goes on behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here is the very first thing. It is the sketch and this is the initial sketch, I guess. Well, this is the initial sketch. <laughs> and that's just my little thumbnail of the pose. I did struggle with the fire one a little bit. I actually started with earth. So this one was, I think, the second one that I sketched out. But here's the sketch. And I actually really like how the sketch turned out. You can see I have different notes here, and this was done on December 24th, and I finished it on Christmas. So I have little notes here like glowing fingers, maybe a yellow white, which I was trying to do in the finished one. But I put too dark of a color and I couldn't take it away, so they're orange. But it's okay. And then it says a red-orange in the background. I have a fire order color. So originally I wanted to include some blue in it, but it just didn't really work with it, so I ended up taking it out and just putting it for her eyes. I have a fade tips of the hair, fire elemental remake, and the lava, coal, ash, embers. Those are just some notes that I put. And you can see kind of where I was going with it. I wanted her, her I guess, dress type thing to be like soot or you know ashes or anything that has to do with fire and then her little scales are kind of like lava rocks which is what I was trying to go for and around her hair which is actually just fire it has ash and embers so that's kind of the idea I was going for I really like the sketch but it's interesting how things change when it goes to the final because they look quite different but maybe because I didn't shade this one that she just didn't have the same color scheme, but that's another story. So following that, we have this little color scheme thing that I try to do with some watercolors. So here is kind of the color scheme I went for, and it was just similar to my original Fire Elemental. And then this one was something I was testing out, so here are some like fire examples that I was trying. And I used reference to figure out the colors, but you can see the blue didn't really blend into the orange very well. Kind of made it muddy looking, so I decided not to go for that. And ended up going for this one. And the drawing that you guys saw in the video is actually not my first attempt. Here is my first attempt. Yeah, so this was the first go, and the reason why it's different from the color scheme was because I did a different color scheme digitally which I'll show later but you can see here that she kind of has this like dark red brown and then goes to a white center and then goes back to the color and the whole thing I was trying to do was like she has a very bright core and then was changing color throughout the problem with that was there wasn't a lot of contrast before I put the lines in and it kind of conflicted with the whole colorful hair and took away from it so I ended up scrapping it and didn't think that I would scrap it because this was on watercolor paper already like this was set and done and then I messed up so I couldn't really go back and ended up restarting which is what you see in the final video so yeah and this is also after I messed up, I tested it out a little bit, so I was testing out the different colors for her hair, if I should outline it in black or if I should outline it in colors. And here you see I outlined this part in orange instead, but in the final I outlined it in yellow. And I added some glowy bits instead of here where it's just plain, I added glowy bits here just to represent kind of like magma, fire, and stuff like that. And this one also has gold on it because, well one, if you saw in the video, I messed up in this spot. The water brush leaked because I didn't let the 
the entire thing dry and it leaked and started spreading and melting together so what I did, I was originally going to add gold anyways but I didn't think I was going to add it on her scale like magma stones, lava stones, I was just going to add it into the embers but I like how it looks with the gold on her soot dress too and on her scaly lava rocks. <laughs> For the watercolor pencils that I used, I used these four, and these are from Arteza, and they are the woodless watercolor pencils. I really like them. They come out very pigmented, and they, when you put water on them, they come out super smooth. And the colors that I used was this red one, which is magenta, but I explained in my review video that I think that that's a typo, because it's not magenta at all. And then there's orange, a chrome yellow and yellow and the yellow didn't really show up but yeah we'll just not speak about that but these are the colors that I used for the hair and just to add a little bit more color that I couldn't get from the watercolors so for water brush pens I use my color it water brush pens which I've been loving so far and I used a lot of these colors just for the initial getting the color on there and blending it out. It's very bright outside. And then over here we have the black one which I use quite a lot and then these, this brown I tried to add some shadows to the body. It worked to an extent but I ended up using marker instead. So these are the pens that I've been using, at least the water brush pens. They are my favorite water brush pens that I've ever received. So high quality best ones so far. <laughs> For the watercolors themselves I used the Koi watercolors and initially I did start with this one. Excuse the mess, I still need to clean it up. It's even messy on here but I used this red and this orange and this yellowy orange and yellow. Then I tried to use this brown and this brown just to make the skin tone and it was kind of turning out alright, but it wasn't dark enough for me. So because it wasn't dark enough for me, I ended up using this one, and I can't open it with one hand. The Arteza 36 pack, pack, whatever. And I used more of these colors to get the skin tone. And I'll show you on here, on my swatches, I used this one, this one, this one, and this one to make it darker and I even used some of this brown red and then red or all these basically to make more of the hair just to blend it and that's my combination of watercolors that I used. For outlining I use these Artline drawing system pens I've been using for quite some time. I really like them and these are the even so there's a 2, 4, 6, and 8 and I use the 2, 4, most of the time and then I use this 0.05 for details like the face. For small things I use the two such as the face, the outline of the face, and then for the rest of the body I use the four. I also use the eight I believe when I was doing the rocks at the bottom just because I couldn't really get a dark enough black for the rocks and I kind of wanted it to look cracked so I ended up just leaving marks at the bottom which I will show you right now so you can see I didn't color in all the way I just left it open just so that the color from behind could show through so here are the pens that I actually used to outline the hair and these ones are Papermate Ink Joy gel pens and I haven't used them really before I bought them a long time ago just because they're on sale and I haven't used them, but now that I kind of have a purpose for them, I really enjoy them and how they look. They're very high quality and they go on super smooth. And then here we have my Stabilo pens, which I have not taken out since I moved. And this one's just in like a light orange and then a yellow. And I just blended it out with these in this order. So that's what you see in the video. Here are the markers that I used for the drawing as well. I wasn't expecting to make it a mixed media, but because I couldn't get the contrast I wanted with just watercolors, I decided to expand into other mediums and just use that to my advantage because I knew that adding marker to it would add a lot more dimension and contrast 
So I use this one, which is a Copic marker. It's E33 in sand. And then I have Copic marker in Y38 in, I think, honey? Yes, honey. And then we have one in E11, which is barely beige. And then I have two Artist Loft markers, which I had for a while. And this one's in Y11 Canary. And this one is Y7 Lemon. So I use those just to add more contrast and more color and saturation into the entire piece. And the last thing I want to go over is this Liquid Leaf Classic Gold is what I used at the very end to add the shimmer in to the drawing. And the reason why I got this was first it's a lot cheaper than those palettes. However, I do think that it's a lot different than the palettes. And when I use this, I have to ventilate the room because it smells bad. But it makes everything shiny. But yeah, I wanted to get the other kinds of palettes where they have the gold, but they were a little bit pricey. And this for 0.75 fluid ounces was about 6 to $7, whereas the palette with like five different types of gold is 30 or so, and I just couldn't get that at the moment, but maybe in the future. But so far this works, and yeah, it has a lot of product. You don't even need that much. If you saw in the video, I was not using that much at all, so this is going to last me for a very long time. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this elemental behind the scenes where I kind of just go over the materials and my process and just how I work. And I hope you guys like the new elemental fire. I really like it. I personally think it's more towards a style that I am growing comfortable with and just a style that I wanted this whole time. Because back then, I think the first elemental was at least two to three years ago at least and that was still when I was developing my style I was still in art school I think even before I went to art school so it was definitely in development but now I think I have a grasp on what I want it to be and it's becoming things that I like I like how it's turning out I like the end result and I'm still learning so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing behind the scenes on my process and everything that goes into making this one video that's highly requested and I hope you guys will look forward to more in the future so with that thank you guys so much for joining me today keep drawing keep painting and I'll see you guys next time bye